And Samsung is making headlines with the new Samsung Galaxy Note. Bottom line, you're gonna look really dumb holding this up to your face. I need to show you my new phone. New phone. That is ridiculous. Samsung has no idea what they're doing. This is like talking to a piece of toast. <laughs> People are actually calling this thing a phablet. Skip over the Samsung Galaxy Note completely. Big phones are a big deal. Big phones have become the standard. The S Pen alone seals the deal. That's the sound of me winning. All of these other phones got to fall back. The Galaxy Note is the best phone out right now. Who's laughing now? Gentlemen, please welcome to the stage President and CEO, Head of IT and Mobile Communications Division, DJ Ko. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Welcome to Barclays Center. I'm so happy to be here today with more than 3,000 global media, partners, and note fans. It is an honor to celebrate the amazing note community. Your passion and insight are a constant inspiration. And your loyalty to the note is the best reward for our commitment innovation. For me and my team, there's nothing we love better than creating the next new note. It is the device for those who seek lives filled with purpose and are motivated by a desire to do more. And since 2011, it has been the leading smartphone for achievers and creators who are pioneering new businesses, inventing new ways to work, and redefining music, art, and culture. I love the note because it forces us to break through barriers to deliver the most advanced device for those who expect more. And I'm excited to show you the next version of the world's most powerful mobile device. But my agenda today goes even further. From my first impact as president of Samsung Mobile, in 2016, I've talked about our vision for a future of seamlessly connected devices and a world of endless possibilities. I've shared my commitment to meaningful innovation that delivers value, convenience, and joy to our customers. I've spoken of my belief that it will take open systems and open partnerships to unleash the power of technology so that you can reimagine how you connect, create, work, play, and lead. I said then that no company 
is in a better position to achieve this vision than Samsung. And I say now with confidence that this is even more true today than it was then. So much has changed since I took the stage 20 and a half years ago. Artificial intelligence, the internet of things, augmented reality, these were extraordinary concepts in 2016. Now, they are the building blocks for a new era of continuous, personalized, and intelligent digital experiences that will reflect who we are, anticipate what we need, and deliver what we want, with no limits, no barriers, and no interruptions. But that's not the world we live in right now. While our lives flow seamlessly across the home, work, and play, our technology doesn't. We still live in a world of digital devices and disrupted experiences. There are too many gaps, too many blind spots. Too many services are confined by the limits of a device, brand, or platform. Too many experiences are interrupted when we leave a room or go from office to car or switch between devices. Too often, our devices fail when we need them the most. As Samsung, we believe it's time to transcend narrow digital experiences that have never reflected how we live our lives. It's time for a new generation of experiences that are intelligent enough to anticipate your needs, open enough to give you full control of the choices you have and the decisions you make, private enough to respect and protect your confidential information, and seamless enough to flow with you without interruption as you move through your day. This is a vision only Samsung can deliver because only Samsung offers products and services that touch everything people do across every part of their lives. Mobile devices, TVs, and appliances that span the office, the car, the home, and everywhere in between. At a scale no other company can match. Hundreds of millions of people across more than a billion devices. Today, too many companies create experiences that are designed more to reinforce their business models than enhance your lives. At Samsung, we are committed to meaningful innovation that puts you first. Guided by our belief in the potential of technology to amplify your creativity, we are creating a galaxy of experiences that span not just devices and locations, but platforms and brands. Experiences built on a foundation of intelligence that learns, adopts, and anticipates not to control your choices, but to enhance human capabilities and expand human possibilities. It's an ambitious vision, and we have made significant progress over the past two years. From smart things 
for our new AI research labs, from family hub refrigerators to smart TVs, with defense-grade NOXA security to keep your most important information safe. And partnerships that grow out of our commitment to an open and connected world. We have laid the foundation to move beyond smart devices and into a world of intelligent experiences that are seamless, continuous, deeply personal, and profoundly productive. We have a great show for you today. New products and services that illustrate the promise of connected living. A new partnership that demonstrates the potential of intelligence that stretches across platforms and brands. Plus, some great surprises along the way. And, of course, a new smartphone. Not just any smartphone a phone that raises the bar for speed, power, and performance once again. A phone with more than enough memory, power, and capacity to live your life without interruption at the pace you demand. A phone built on our commitment to you. A smartphone that will never slow you down or let you down. A smartphone powerful enough to keep up with you wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever you need. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present the all new Galaxy Note 9. Thank you. Now, to tell you more about the world's most advanced smartphone, please welcome Drew Blackheart. Thanks, DJ. I'm so excited to be here at Barclays Center to introduce the Galaxy Note 9. Galaxy Note has always been a smartphone for people who want the best of the best. And this year, we've updated it for a new generation. Generation of creators, achievers, and entrepreneurs who are remaking the world and relying on technology to do it. Recently, we spoke with Note users all over the world about what they want for their phones. And one thing became crystal clear. Note users expect more. And at Samsung, we've always tried not just to meet expectations, but to exceed them. Now, we already use our phones for so much, but what if they were even more powerful? 
What if our batteries actually lasted all day and we didn't have to worry about how much storage we had? What if we could stream and download the things we want when we want them? What if our phones met our highest expectations instead of forcing us to work around their shortcomings? Since the beginning, the Note series has always been at the cutting edge of new technology. And today, we're redefining expectations all over again with the most powerful phone we've ever made, the Galaxy Note 9. You know, back when we launched the first Note, a 5.3-inch display sounded huge. Today, it actually sounds small. But it paved the way for the big screen smartphone category. And Note users were the first to see the incredible potential of a large screen. For people who pack a ton into every moment, Note lets you do more. That's why we made the screen 6.4 inches, the largest ever on a Note. And of course, Note 9 features an end-to-end -end display, which means you get a larger canvas for writing with your S Pen or watching YouTube video. In fact, YouTube recently named the Note 9 a signature device because it delivers a best-in-class YouTube experience. We've refined the design with a beautiful balance, razor-straight lines, and elegant curves, using a specialized diamond cutting technique to give the frame a clean, modern look. On the back of the device, we centered the fingerprint scanner below the camera so that it's easier to reach. And now, all of these features blend seamlessly into the design of the phone. When it comes to color, this year we went big and bold. You can choose from four cool new colors. Ocean blue with a yellow S pen, which is my favorite. Lavender purple, metallic copper, and midnight black. Each designed to reflect the forward-looking style that Note users are looking for. We also added a flash of color to one of Note users' favorite features, and one that I use all the time, screen off memos. Now, no matter what color you choose, one thing remains the same. Note users rely on their phones to explore their passions and to get things done. So with Note 9, we didn't just design a super powerful phone, we designed a phone that can keep up with you. Now, we all know the feeling of panic when your phone gets below 5%. You're waiting for your ride, watching your battery drain away, just praying that the car comes before you're stranded. Well, you shouldn't have to plan your day around your phone's battery life. That's why we created an all-day battery, the largest ever on a Note. No more worrying that your GPS will die right when you need it most. No more begging coworkers to borrow a charger. Instead, you can power through your entire day with just the phone in your pocket. That's right. The fact is, we need our phones to last all day. And we're storing more on them than ever before. So Note 9 starts at a minimum of 128 gigabytes. That's twice as much space as before. So you don't have to pick and choose which photos, videos, and apps you can live without. With that amount of storage, you could download close to 670 hours of movies and TV shows. That's enough to get you through 30 round-trip flights from New York to Madrid. And that's just to start with. You can also get a 512 gig version. That's the one that I want. Just like its predecessors, Note 9 also comes with expandable storage. And get this, soon, with Samsung's upcoming 512 gig micro SD card, you'll be able to get as much as one terabyte of memory. One terabyte. That's more than most laptops. But what good is all that storage if you're always waiting for things to load? We wanted to make sure Note users could maximize performance, even when running power-intensive apps. So we gave Note 9 a cutting-edge 10 nanometer processor. And it also supports super-fast network speeds, up to a staggering 1.2 gigabits per second, so you can stream smoother and download faster. But the ultimate test of all this power and speed is gaming. To get a truly great gaming experience on a smartphone, you need a device that packs a serious punch. But don't take it from me. 
let's hear from someone who created one of the most popular games on the market today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the founder and CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney. Well, thanks, Drew. It's great to be back at Unpacked. You know, the last time I was on Unpacked stage was for the launch of the Vulkan Graphics API back in 2016. It's crazy to think how much has changed at Epic Games since then, and we've been thrilled to be partners with, the, with Samsung for the entire time. You know, for starters, Epic Games launched our most successful game yet, Fortnite. <laughs> So today, there are over 125 million people around the world building bases, gathering weapons, and getting ready for the next storm. And uh, <laughs> judging by the tweets, um, just about every gamer wants to know the same thing. When is Fortnite coming to Android? So uh, about that, um, we're going to be launching the Fortnite beta on Android this week, and players with Samsung Galaxy devices are the first to be invited starting right now. Also, gamers who play Gal uh, Fortnite on a Note 9 or Tab S4 will also get access to a special skin, Galaxy. Yeah, what really excites us about this partnership is that Samsung makes the best performing Android devices in the world. And the Note 9 represents a real revolution for mobile gaming that brings a console quality 100 player Fortnite experience to Android. Now, Epic Games has always been on the cutting edge of mobile gaming, and together with Samsung, we're ushering mobile gaming into a new era of high-end games for gamers. And we can't wait to see how players around the world enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Tim. We are really excited about this partnership. When game worlds are bigger, combat is faster, and a moment of lag could mean the difference between victory or defeat, Performance is crucial. With a super fast processor, amazing graphics, a powerful battery, and more storage than ever, Note 9 delivers the kind of performance that gamers need. And when it comes to games, we know that people want to be able to see and hear every single detail. So Note 9 comes with AKG-tuned stereo speakers, the loudest ever on a Note. For serious gamers, speed is everything. When your processor heats up, your gameplay slows down. Well, Note 9 comes with our industry-leading water carbon cooling system and a smart performance adjuster algorithm. Really, that just means that everything's gonna run smoothly, even in the most intense gaming sessions. With Note 9, whatever you're doing, your phone works for you, giving you the performance that you need. And nowhere is that more true than with Note's powerful, intelligent camera. Back in February, we reimagined what a camera could do with an incredible dual aperture smartphone camera. Because when it comes to capturing a great photo, there's almost nothing more important than light. Just like your eye, Note 9's camera adapts to your environment. If you're out at night, the aperture widens to let in more light. And if it's a bright, sunny day, the aperture contracts to let in less light. So you can get a great shot anytime, anywhere. And thanks to its super speed dual pixel image sensor, Note 9 comes with super slow-mo, which lets you make everyday moments epic by slowing them down to a fraction of a second. So we started with one of the most powerful smartphone cameras in the world. And now we're building on that foundation with Note 9's brand new intelligent camera. Now, we all know when it comes to taking great pictures, some things are always gonna be out of our control. Maybe your friend blinked, maybe you didn't see the smudge on the lens until it was too late. Seriously, there's nothing worse than asking someone to take a photo of you and your friends only to get your phone back and realize that the photo looks terrible. Well now, whenever Note 9's camera detects a flaw, like closed eyes or image blur, it'll automatically notify you. So you can take another shot before the moment's gone. Note 9's camera also uses scene recognition to identify different subjects like flowers, food, and a variety of landscapes. And then based on the scene, it optimizes the color tones 
so that every shot you take is Instagram ready. Now, no matter how powerful your camera is, one thing it can't do is take a picture for you. My wife and I love to travel. In fact, we just got back from Mexico City a couple weeks ago. But there we go. Uh, no matter what we did and where we went, whenever we were taking a selfie, they all ended up looking pretty much the same, right? We tried to squeeze in, get in the same shot, but it was hard to not lose the scenery behind us. But what if you could take a better photo without all that hassle? Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to take an unpacked group shot. Right, make my way over to the camera. And, you know, this is just too cool of a moment. I don't think I want to take this one alone. I need to... Matt, you want to join me? All right, here we go. Let's get in here. All right. One, two, three. I need my good side. Let's try this side. All right. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Maybe our album cover? Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. One, two, three. All right. Looking good. Let's see. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Well, you might have noticed that I took those photos without even touching the phone. I used this. <laughs> to tell you all about Note9's powerful new S Pin, please welcome my good friend and Tab S4 video sensation, John Wong. What's up, New York City? Yeah. I am pumped to be back and unpacked, especially because this time it's in my own backyard. Like Drew, I've taken a lot of selfies, and it would have been super handy to have that S Pen. Since the very first note, the S Pen has been an essential tool for power users who want to do more with their smartphones. And as you just saw, the new S Pen has some pretty cool new functions. That's because now it supports Bluetooth low energy to turn it into the ultimate remote control. Yeah. With some help from our partners, we've beefed up the S Pen. Now you can use it to play and pause YouTube videos. So don't smudge the screen with my greasy pizza hands to capture snaps in Snapchat, and take your selfie game to the next level. Or flip through some slides in Microsoft PowerPoint while working the room. Speaking of working the room, you can even use it to control something much, much bigger. In fact, I've been controlling this presentation with my S Pen. I know, pretty cool, eh? Check it out. I can go backwards. I can go forward. All with a simple click of the S Pen. And that's not all. Right now, we're working with a handful of partners. Soon, we'll open up the SDK to everyone so that you all can come up with your own creative ways of using the S Pen. To charge the S Pen, just put it back in your phone. A full charge takes less than a minute and lasts a whole half hour. Even better, you don't have to charge it to use all the other S Pen features you already know and love. The S Pen began as a simple way to jot down notes. And over the years, we made it better we increased the pressure sensitivity, we made the tip finer so that it feels like a natural writing tool. And with these refinements, Note users saw something else. The potential for the S Pen to be a creative tool, a new way to express themselves and create amazing art. This inspired us. So to nurture this creativity, we developed a digital community for S Pen artists to come together and share their work. PenUp currently has over 4 million subscribers. Artists are using the S Pen to 
create new masterpieces every day. In fact, we have an artist here today, a sensation from across the pond. Please give a warm welcome to our special guest, Mr. Doodle. Hey, Mr. Doodle. Hey, John. How's it going? Yeah, it's going great. Thanks yeah. for having me here. Yeah. So I take it by your name, you're a fan of doodling. <laughs> you're pretty, pretty smart, John. Thanks. And you like using the S Pen? Yeah, sure do. Let me show you something. Yeah. You can take pictures, lead presentations, and control your content. All with the S Pen. In the words of so many note users, the S Pen is what makes a note a note. Of course, the S Pen isn't the only way to get things done with the Note 9. Which brings me to my favorite thing, Samsung DeX. These days, yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> These days, your phone is basically like a supercomputer that fits in your pocket. So why not extend that computing power to a bigger screen? Samsung DeX is a PC-like experience powered entirely by your Galaxy smartphone. With DeX built into the Note 9, all the computing power I need is in my pocket. DeX is designed for the work anywhere generation. And now, it's simpler and more convenient than ever. Because the only thing you need to start DeX is this. That's right. All you need is a single HDMI adapter, just like the one you'd use to connect your phone to a TV. Let me show you. All I need to do to connect is this. It's as simple as that. I just plug in my Note 9, and I'm in DeX. Pretty cool. I already store my entire life on my phone, and with DeX, I can access it anywhere with an external display to get work done or just kick back and watch a video. Here's a Tab S4 video we released last week. That's a familiar face. Can't get enough of this guy, eh? Now, even while watching myself on the big screen using DeX, I can still use my Note 9 screen to do everything I normally would. For example, send a text message to some friends, could browse the web, I can even use my S Pen to take notes on my performance. Nailed it. Thanks. With the new DeX, multitasking is easier than ever. And remember, it's all powered by my Note 9. And DeX doesn't just work with your phone. You can also use it with the device we just saw, the Tab S4, to turn it into a true productivity machine. Combined with the S Pen, it gives you an even larger canvas for your notes or your doodles. Speaking of which, let's check it in with Mr. Doodle to see how it's going. Hey, Mr. Doodle. Hey, John. I switched over to the Tab S4 for the larger screen. That's awesome. And I actually see that you're using it with uh, DeX. How do you like that? Yeah, it's brilliant for getting those smaller details, you know. That's great. Mr. Doodle is using what we call the dual canvas experience on DeX. We created it with the Adobe Photoshop sketch team. Now, it's easy to add the fine details because you can draw on the Tab S4 screen while seeing the bigger picture on the big screen. How's it going there? Yeah, just a few more details and then it'll be finished. Awesome. There we go. Why don't we go on stage and check it out? Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Thanks so much. Let's hear it one more time for Mr. Doodle.
Wasn't that amazing? And everything you just saw works on both the Tab S4 and the Note 9. From the all-day battery to the intelligent camera to the S Pen, and of course, DeX. Our goal has always been to help you work smarter and do what you love. That's why we created this super powerful Note 9. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce another device to the Samsung ecosystem, one that brings power, style, and connectivity right to your wrist. Our all-new Samsung smartwatch. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Director of Marketing, Alina Vivas. We heard you. You want your smartwatch to be connected without always relying on your phone or even your charger. Well, the Galaxy Watch is here, and it gives you the freedom to break away and still stay connected longer. People love that the Galaxy Watch looks like a real watch. With our signature circular bezel and rotating design, it's more than an aesthetic. It's an intuitive way to control your watch. You can choose between two different sizes, any number of straps, and over 60,000 watch faces from the Galaxy App Store. The Galaxy Watch has a high-res AMOLED display with an integrated touch function. It has military-grade durability and Corning Gorilla DX Plus glass for added strength and scratch resistance. And it's water-resistant, which means it's swim-ready. The Galaxy Watch is designed so you want to wear it all day. And it's built so you can. It works perfectly with the new Note 9, or you can use it by itself with standalone LTE connectivity. So you can take off for a run without missing an important call or text. We're working with carriers around the world so you can stay connected no matter where you go. And now, the Galaxy Watch also has the battery life to keep up. We built low-power architecture and next-generation panel-level package technology into the processor, created specifically for smartwatches. Simply put, you can use the Galaxy Watch for several days on a single charge. You can even charge it at the same time as the Note 9 with our new wireless charger duo. With the Galaxy Watch, you're not tethered, you're connected. Now, one of the most significant things our watch connects you to is your health. The philosophy behind connected health is that all the devices in your life should work together to help make you the best version of yourself. That means three things. First, managing stress. It's important to take a break from your busy life, whether those breaks are physical or mental. The Galaxy Watch can monitor your heart rate and establish a personal baseline. And when it senses a big change, like presenting at Unpacked, OK, 
can offer you a breathing guide to calm you down. Second, staying fit. Because sometimes we want our heart rates to be high, like when we're at the gym. The watch is designed to make our workouts productive and easy to track. You can choose from 39 different exercises, and it even detects six of the most common exercises automatically. Whether you're in a studio or in your own living room, you can make the most out of your workout. It's like having a personal trainer that tracks your progress right there on your wrist. The Galaxy Watch supports you while you're working and working out. Third, getting good rest. The watch keeps track of your sleep patterns. It can tell you how long you were asleep and how much quality rest you got. With the Galaxy Watch, the Note 9, and the Samsung Health app all working together, you get a full picture of your health and the power to monitor and manage it. The Galaxy Watch is designed to be useful. It's smart, and it helps you manage your busy day. Every morning, I check my watch. Actually, first coffee. Then I pull up the weather report, my schedule, my to-do list, so I know what to expect. And here's my favorite part. With the new My Day watch face, the watch syncs with my calendar, so I can see when I'm free or busy with just a glance. The Galaxy Watch helps you stay connected to your work, your life, and your health, no matter where you are or what you're doing. Being connected is also the underlying theme of Bixby, the groundbreaking AI platform we built into Note 9. And to tell you more, please welcome Jisoo Yi. Thanks so much, Elena. I'm thrilled to be here. From the very beginning, Bixby was designed with a simple purpose to help you get things done. We are continuously refining Bixby, so now on Note 9, it is more conversational, more personal, and useful. So when two people have a conversation, we build upon each other. So now can Bixby also um, can have a conversation with you too. So let me show you. So this is the new Bixby Huamian screen. So I need concerts in Brooklyn over Labor Day weekend. Oh, this live demo. Didn't understand that. You shouldn't. I need a concert in Brooklyn over Labor Day weekend. I found these concerts in Brooklyn, New York during the Friday, August 31st weekend. Bixby already knows that Labor Day weekend begins August 31st, so that it shows some concerts in that period of time. That's good. Let's try another date. How about the first weekend in October? found these concerts in Brooklyn, New York, during the Friday, October 5th weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Bixby, remember that we are talking about concerts in Brooklyn. That means that I don't need to repeat myself. This is what I mean by more conversational. Being conversational is good, but that's not enough. When you talk to your close friends, they already know who you are, what you like. Bixby won't replace your best friend, I hope, but it is designed to do similar things. For example, I need good restaurants in New York. There are some restaurants in New York, New York. Voila, Bixby knows that I like French food, so it listed a French restaurant at the top. Let's check it out. Uh, it looks great. 
There's wine and cheese, and also some Belgian food as well. I want to make a reservation, so let me press the button at the bottom. Should I make the reservation? As you can see, Big C B has already filled in the number of people in my party and the reservation time based on my previous bookings. All I have to do is tap the reserve table button. Reservation details sent to email. That's it. This is what I mean by more personal. <laughs> oh, by the way, I also want to know how to get there. So let's press navigate button here. So, 23 minutes, not too far from here. Great. So I can do that. Now. Some of you might have noticed that even though I look for concert tickets or a reserved table, I never actually said the words Ticketmaster or Yelp. In fact, I haven't installed those apps yet because this is brand new Note 9. This, it just worked. This is what I mean by more useful. You can, you can applause. Cut. So we are working with many partners to build a seamless integration into Bixby. This means that users can access many of their favorite services in a snap. For our partners, they can reach out many more potential users. You may have also noticed that Bixby works with Google Maps. That's right. We are working with Google to make sure Bixby works well with some of their key services. And of course, if you say, hey, Google, to your Note 9, Google Assistant will be there for you. But this is an unpacked event, so let me try one more uh, example of how Bixby works. I need a ride to JFK. for this ride will be $49.11. Ready to request ride? You can clap it. <laughs> With just six words and an Uber account, I can order a car to the airport. I never have to open an app, explain myself, or fill in the details. This is power of conversational, personal, and useful Bixby. <laughs> so all the experiences you've seen here today are only possible because of our amazing partner. Thank you. <laughs> With their services and our innovative AI technologies, we are making better Bixby better than ever. So far, you've seen what Bixby can do on Note 9. But what if everything I just showed you was also brought inside your home? Well, today, for the first time, we are unveiling a brand new product that brings together Bixby, amazing sound, and elegant design. Are you ready? Listen. Hi, Bixby. Play music.
all the sound you just heard came from these 160 galaxy homes. So when we designed this speaker, we set out to deliver high-quality sound. Thankfully, with the AKG, every aspect of Galaxy Home is engineered to make your music sound amazing. It has elegant circular form factor with six to high range speakers that send the sound in every direction. In, and it has a subwoofer that provides deep, rich bass as well. And with the Harman's natural sound processing, you get a realistic surround sound experience that feels like you are right in the middle of the live concert. We've also integrated Harman sound steer technologies, which detects your location and optimize sound based on where you are in the room. Just say, hi, Bixby, sound steer, and the music is directed right at you. As I mentioned before, the Galaxy Home also has Bixby and the SmartThings Hub built right in. So it gives you instant access to their largest open ecosystem of smart devices using only your voice. So it is as easy saying, hi, Bixby. The Galaxy Home also has uh, eight, okay, eight microphones for far field voice recognition. They'll pick up that voice command from clear across the room. This is a just first look at this amazing speaker. We are excited to share more details about it soon. So Galaxy Home is perfect example of how, how we are expanding our ecosystem of intelligent devices. We are also expanding services as I showed you earlier. These expansions are only possible with a scalable AI platform, which is Bixby. And we will be sharing a lot more about our vision and the detailed technology beyond it at the Samsung Developer Conference. I really, really hope to see you all there. Thank you. And now, please welcome back to the stage, Drew Blackard. Thanks, Jisoo. As you just heard, seamless connection is a key part of our vision to integrate all of our devices into a unified, open ecosystem. There are a lot of smart devices in our lives these days. And we at Samsung have always believed that all your devices, whether you carry them in your pocket, wear them on your wrist, or install them in your home, should work together effortlessly to bring you one continuous experience. As you heard from DJ at the beginning of the show, that's the promise of the Samsung ecosystem. And we work every day to deliver on that promise. How are we making this all happen? by infusing our ecosystem and all the devices within it with intelligence. Take the Galaxy Home, for example. As you just heard from Jisoo, it's a powerful speaker with Bixby built right in. But even the best speaker isn't worth much if you don't have access to great music. More than any other art form, music touches every moment of our lives. It's a huge part of my life. I have a playlist for my morning run, my evening commute, and just about everything in between. Of course, the days of listening to music on just one device are long over. Today, half of all millennials are listening to music on as many as three different devices. And too often, those devices, they don't work so well together. That's why we're dedicated to making music available wherever you are, whatever you're doing, at home and on the go. It's a big goal. And we knew we couldn't do it alone. So we started searching for a new music partner to join us on this mission. A partner who's committed, like us, to helping you access just about any song you want, to keep track of the artists you love, 
and to discover new music tailored perfectly to your tastes. We had to make sure that they share our values and are committed long term to helping people enjoy music in new ways. Lucky for us, and more importantly, lucky for you, we found the perfect fit. We are so excited to introduce our go to music partner for our multi device ecosystem, a meaningful long term commitment to help consumers discover and enjoy music in ways that have never before been possible. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome CEO of Spotify, Daniel Eck. All right. Thank you, everyone. It's really great to be here at Unpacked. When we created Spotify, we had a simple goal. It was to make music accessible to everyone while supporting the artists who created it. And since then, we changed how the industry works. We made it easier than ever for people to discover new music and for artists to find and connect directly with their fans while also getting compensated for their work. We examined how people use Spotify, and we know that listeners stream different kinds of music at different times, in different places, and most importantly, on different devices. And we think music should be easy to access on all of your devices. And we want it to be as seamless to switch from one device to another. So the partnership we're announcing with Samsung today is a true cross-platform listening experience. You know, Samsung makes devices for every aspect of our lives. It's really everything from smartphones and TVs to tablets, speakers, watches, and even refrigerators. And we have designed Spotify to deliver personalized music to consumers around the world, wherever they are, and on as many devices as possible. It's a really great fit. And to show us how it all works together, let's, let's bring back Drew. Thanks, Daniel. As we were just talking about, I'm always listening to music on the way home from work. It's usually a Spotify playlist. Last week, on every weekly, this song came on. It's a good one. So I'm driving home. When I get home, I usually go into the living room, watch some TV. So a prompt will come up automatically when I get into the living room. And all I have to do is hit one button to push that right into the living room TV. And maybe one day I'll be wiser. Cause maybe one day I'll be further from here. Sounds great. Didn't miss a beat. But when I get home from work, usually I'm pretty hungry. Maybe I want to go to the kitchen, cook up some dinner. Good thing I've got a Galaxy Home in the kitchen. So all I have to do is hit play on the Galaxy Home. So the music follows me wherever I go. It's one seamless interaction. Back to you, Daniel. Yeah. Thank you, Drew. So today, Spotify becomes part of the setup experience on a Samsung device from the very beginning. So for example, when someone buys a phone, the user can easily discover the Spotify app on Samsung Smart Switch. And soon, Samsung Smart TV users will be able to link their Spotify and Samsung accounts through the SmartThings app. It's a really a new level of integration that will allow Spotify to be easily accessible and discoverable on Samsung devices. But this isn't just for phones. Spotify is also on Samsung TVs and launching on Galaxy Home speakers. And soon, you'll be able to control Spotify through Bixby and will also be integrated in Samsung Music. So this will really allow listeners to receive recommendations from Spotify, discover new playlists, and create new musical experiences. And our partnership will make discovering new music feel easier than ever before. Fans can quickly access music on Spotify and then move their music seamlessly between devices. And as we move forward with this partnership, we believe this out-of-the-box experience will only become more frictionless. And in the future, we envision deeply integrated Spotify experiences on Samsung devices. 
And we're talking about hundreds of millions of devices. So at Spotify, we're really excited about what we're launching now and what we'll be able to develop with Samsung in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, well done, Daniel. Well, we're very excited, of course, to do this partnership. Super excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. With Spotify, Samsung Galaxy users will now be able to enjoy seamless music experiences across all our devices. We are super excited about today's announcement. And it's just the start of things to come. As I said earlier, we love to create the new note. And I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to the Samsung team here in the US and all the Samsung teams around the world who helped make this great new product possible. Thank you. <laughs> the opportunity to make the world's most advanced smartphone even more powerful even more innovative. I can't wait to see how to use it in ways we never imagined to achieve more than we ever thought possible. So I'm excited to announce that the Galaxy Note 9 will be available beginning on August 24th. But our commitment goes beyond the most advanced and powerful smartphone. We believe the future of connected devices and seamless experiences begins here and begins now. From the speakers for your home, to the watch on your wrist, to the music you listen to, and the phone that powers your life. Everything you will see here today is a step forward into an open and connected world of experiences powerful enough to keep up with you. You inspire us to push through barriers and make the note better every year. It's not easy every year, frankly speaking. <laughs> so let me end by saying Thank you. There is a, no one like you. And there's a nothing like the note. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Mm-hmm.